And stakeholders in Nigeria are addressing insecurity concerns during elections, arguing that restoring confidence will prevent Nigerians from doubting the outcome of the electoral body. Plus TV Manuel Ehijene report is presented from our studio. Stakeholders in Abuja convened to discuss security challenges during Nigeria's election. They led by the Clean Foundation, a non-governmental organization aiming for free, fair, credible and safe elections. Country Director Gard Peter highlighted the importance of the dialogue and its potential positive impact on future elections. The conversation we're having today for the next two days is not to apportion blame, is not to say who is right or wrong, it's for us to be able to fashion out a model that will be more acceptable to all of us as citizens of this country, to identify where there are gaps and identify areas of improvement and be able to make the electoral process and especially the issue of electoral security more inclusive and more acceptable to people and to reduce the tension that usually comes with um, election in Nigeria. Election is not supposed to be a moment where people are traveling or stocking food or where people become enemies with their neighbors, secondary school mate, university mate or colleagues in places of work. It should be a moment of celebration. It should be a moment of intellectual discourse. A moment where ideas are discussed and, not, and issues are discussed and not people. The event attracted the Northern Police and NCDC stakeholders to discuss experiences and strategies for handling insecurity threats during elections. At each time a leader like a commissioner of police posted to a particular society, people would like to start assess what kind of person is he, what can he do. So first and foremost, we have to organize various outings to the traditional rulers, to the civil society, and we had a very good interaction with members of the media who will inform the larger society on the kind of person that has been brought to manage the election. So it is based on the interaction that the society will now know that this person is not going to let them down. He is not going to compromise his duties. We are still uh, calling for more improvement in terms of the logistics, uh, in terms of how this logistics uh, is also, are also deployed uh, in the delivery of elections. We want to see a whole of government approach to the conduct of elections where INEC is working with security agencies, is working with the Human Rights Commission, is working with all institutions uh, of the state with mandate to make elections happen. Not just elections happening, but credible elections happen. It is time for us to sit down to review some of these practices, to review issues surrounding election violence, to review issues around election security, to review issues in terms of the participation of um, security forces and security agencies. The event discussed a post-election trauma with L security expert and associate professor Aisha to Mia providing a unique perspective on addressing the effect of election violence. The instrumentalization of hate speech becomes a tool in mobilization support for either a politician or a political party. And what does it do? It contributes to sowing seed of disharmony, which could either be to an individual or to a group as a whole. So it divides us along religious line and the ethno-religious um, regional fault lines, which becomes a problem. The event is attended by various stakeholders, including the Nigerian Human Rights Commission, the Nigerian Police Service Commission, civil society, and the media. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.